hello what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and to my oldies thanks for always being here today i'm going to show you how i make this delicious garlic butter naan so guys let's get started so here i have some all-purpose flour some yogurt i have some water some olive oil some salt some baking powder and some sugar now I'm just going to go ahead and start combining all the ingredients together starting with the wet. So in my bowl I'm going to go in with my yogurt, my water and my oil. I'm going to go with my salt and my sugar. And I'm going to give this a good mix to dissolve the um the yogurt. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start um, combining the flour and the baking powder. Now we want to combine until we have a nice dough. We want the dough to be soft to the touch but not sticky. We want it right in between. Now I'm going to go in with my hands and I'm going to knead this to form a dough. And of course, I will leave the full measurement to everything that I'm using for this particular recipe down in the description box so you could go ahead and check it out. Now that my dough is nice and come together, it's just right. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for about an hour. If you have more time, the better. The longer the dough sit, the more the gluten develop in the flour and the stretchier it will be. Now in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and make my garlic butter. So here I have some melted butter and I'm gonna go in with some freshly grated garlic, some salt, and I'm gonna give this a mix and I'm gonna go in with my parsley. I'm gonna set this aside and allow the, and allow the garlic to flavor the butter and let it sit until I'm ready to use it. And of course, I'm using fresh parsley, but if you don't have fresh parsley, you could always use the dry one. Now, after some time, I'm just going to go ahead. I didn't roll it out after 20 minutes, guys. This was sitting there for maybe about an hour and a half because I was doing something else. So, as you can see, I'm just going to knead this together. You realize that the dough is now at a smoother consistency because the gluten has got enough time to develop. It's more smoother now. I'm just going to go ahead and divide this up into eight. But trust me, guys, you could, you could divide it into however small or how big you like there's no right or there's no right or wrong way to um cut up your dough and i'm gonna go ahead and form these into ball and let them sit for another 10 minutes because once you're kneading the dough the dough tends to become tight you want to um allow it to rest because if you try to roll this out once the dough is tightened up it's gonna pull back and you want the dough to roll smoothly so you want to give it resting time in between work and the dough now i'm going to go ahead and start rolling these out i'm going to roll these out into um, about a quarter inch thick now you could make them how thick or how thin you like but note if it's too thin it's going to become a cracker and we're making garlic naan and it's like a flatbread so we want it to have just the right thickness so about a quarter inch will do and i'm gonna roll, go ahead and roll these out all at once so when i'm ready to bake these off everything is ready i won't have to be going back and forth and in that time the dough gets some additional resting.
the hover here I have a cast iron pot nice and heated and slightly greased I'm gonna go ahead and place my lamp in so once it start to have those bubble popping up it's an indicator that it is cooking and it will be ready to flip soon now guys you want to keep your eye on this because trust me it will burn because the pan is screaming hot now I'm gonna give this a flip that's the color you want it to have on the other side and you're gonna allow it to cook through this take roughly about two minutes on each side because my pan is screaming hot now I'm gonna go ahead and brush on my garlic butter just as it come out the pan and I'm gonna allow it to sit and then continue on with the rest of them using the same step And as you can see it will start to bubble up I'll show you where and on the, on the outside it will start to become a little bit dry that's when you know it's time to flip Now my nuns are all done. This is what they're looking like. They are smelling amazing. They feel amazing and trust me, they tasted amazing. Now I'm gonna break into one and show you what we are working with. It's so flexible, soft and delicious. Guys, you should try this recipe and let me know down in the comment section what you think about this recipe. Guys, if you have reached this far and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscription button, turn on the post notification bell so you never miss any of my future uploads and also share this video if you like it and share with somebody who you know is interested and would love this recipe. Let me tell you guys, this was so, 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 so good. I paired this up with some um curried chickpeas curry coconut chickpeas it was so good i will leave a link on how i make that down in the description box and i will link it in the cards above so you guys can check it out until then i thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one Bye bye